Hi there, it's Annie Cassina here from Winning Relationships for Women. In this video, we want to look at how you got into your relationship in the first place. Why him? What made you choose him? Did you even choose him? Or were you chosen? Let's start at the very beginning. What led you to want to get into a relationship in the first place? A lot of women get into a relationship to get away from something. They say, I don't want to be on my own, I need to be with a partner. Or else, I need someone to help me get over the bad relationship I've been in. Or maybe they say, I'm getting older, I need to find someone now. Or they say, I've been on my own for too long. Or they might even say, everyone else is in a relationship and I feel like little Wilhelmina no mates. Are these great re reasons for going into a relationship? They're not the best really, are they? They're all about starting from the needy headspace. What message do you give if you're in that needy headspace? You give the dreaded needy message. And what do men rightly dread? They dread being with a woman who's needy. For most healthy men, a needy woman comes across as someone with an insatiable appetite for support and reassurance. A sort of bottomless pit of anxiety that it will be their job to fill. Quite a lot of women, including me in the past, react very differently to needy men. Instead of needy, we hear needs me and we can get quite excited about it. That neediness may lose its charm in the long run, run but at the start we take it as a guarantee of mattering. Oh, he needs me. I can make a difference. Hmm. How else do you choose a partner? Things I've heard from women include Looks. After all, if he looks good, he must be good, mustn't he? Uh, finances. He's solvent, so that must be good, mustn't it? Availability. It's the bird in the hand thing. You take what you can get, even if that bird is a sparrow or a vulture. He has a pulse. OK, women don't actually say that, but they're not far off. What they actually do say is, well, he wanted to be with me. He seemed so keen. You don't need me to tell you that your choice of partner is very, very important. It has a huge impact on your quality of life, doesn't it? So it makes a lot of sense to choose wisely instead of playing Russian roulette or allowing yourself to be chosen. Have you noticed there's something strange about the way most of us make decisions? If it's a small decision like a dress for an occasion, we can spend hours on it, can't we? But if it's a really important decision, it's really easy to fudge it or make it way too quickly. I've come across plenty of women who walked down the aisle knowing that they were marrying the wrong guy. I can't remember ever meeting anyone who said, I bought the wrong house. So why do women do it? Normally, they do it for one of two reasons. Either they don't have a clear idea of what they truly want in a partner, or else they don't believe they deserve very much. If you're not 100% sure what you really want, or even if you think you know what you want, you'll want to watch the next video. What